what did you excel in at West Point, or what did you do when you you enrolled as a Ranger? Like, what, like were you a smart guy? Were you muscular? Like, like what what made you stand out with some of the best of the best? That had you go down that track and, and brag a little bit because uh, yeah. I, I want to kind of I was wondering about that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely I think relation. If the the picture, the whole picture is going to be relationships. Okay, right, getting people to be comfortable. Um, being able to talk to any type of person about anything uh, and then utilizing kind of the skills that I learned and nurtured at West Point and then using them throughout my army experience and then ultimately using them uh, as an FBI agent in order to kind of um, to, to I look at it both ways, right? Like to help people that were in trouble, right? So you're in trouble, but it's not the end of your life. The worst day is the day we put the handcuffs on you and walk you with our FBI jackets out, right? After that, it starts over. It's a rebirth and it's your choice. So I help nurture those people along to come on Team America. We're gonna, you know, we're let's, gonna... let's figure it out. Let's get to a better place. And I think that when I first got out of the bureau, I had job offers and they were like, oh, you know, they, they were making a few bucks. It was yeah. good. Um, you know, it would have been okay. But I looked at it, I said, this, this does not serve anyone but myself. Yeah. You know, I, okay, I'm gonna make a couple hundred thousand dollars. Uh, I'm going to be, you know, hey, the this of this big company and people are going to say, oh, wow, look at Diorio. He's doing that. But it never made sense to me. So what I've told you about J3 Global is, you know, pretty uh, it's kind of almost a boutique type security service, you know, where I'm not looking for anybody to really know who I'm helping or why I'm helping them. But I get that same sensation, that same feeling of, man, I'm making this person's life a little bit easier. I'm giving this person peace of mind. Yeah. whether it be protecting his children or giving him the gaps in with he, which he needs to fill. I, I here, here's how I compare it. Like for people to understand um, a few years ago, I had a heart situation, right. And my doc, you know, I'm sitting in my, my brother's a dentist. He he's like an EMT a dentist. He's a cool dude. Yeah. And he's, we're standing getting ready to go through uh, into the cath lab. And he says to me, my brother said, Hey, that stuff that they prescribed, you've been taking that right. The Lipitor. And I was like, no, nah. I've been. so he's like okay well that's a problem you know um i said well nothing ever happened to me why would i take that why would i take the lipitor it hurts my joints it hurts my shoulders whatever well when people say the first thing that i say when i talk to a high net worth person or a client potential client well nothing's happened what the hell do i need you for i don't need you and i tell them this story about lipitor and i tell them hey it might be a little painful right now because i'm going to go through all your stuff I'm literally going to rip your lifestyle about how bad your security is and how bad your peace of mind is. At the end of the day, we won't have a situation where we go into a cath lab and I got to bust through one of your arteries. It's all going to be okay. And they get that. They seem to get that. You know, or I give them the football adage, right? I'm, I'm a guy, I'm the defensive coordinator looking at how I can kind of go destroy your gaps, destroy your vulnerabilities. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I understand what makes the difference. And that is, again, goes back to service, right? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff that we do, um, you know, as, as Army guys and as FBI guys. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to service, man. I just love it. I, I can't get enough of it, to be honest. Yeah. So now we're going to, because I know there's certain things you can't talk about, but we're going to get to the FBI shortly for what yeah. you can share, obviously, because you know what you can share and what you can't. 